Hi, it's Kiri from Bubsled Marketing, once again sharing the biggest news for brands selling on Amazon. More registered brands have been able to access enhanced brand content for their product pages. This is a feature available to only some sellers at this stage, which allows you to upload more visually engaging content to your product pages, the type of which was previously only available to vendors. Here's a screenshot of a product page that we set up for a client at Bobsled Marketing with enhanced content. We'll be doing a deep dive of this feature and its effect on conversion rates, if any, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And don't forget, you can request a consultation at bobsledmarketing.com with one of our Amazon experts. We help sellers and vendors to get bigger results faster on Amazon. Amazon launched a new men's fashion brand called Button Down to compete with the likes of Brooks Brothers. Currently, Button Down is just men's dress shirts, but there are plans to expand into dress pants, sports shirts, and sweaters in the future. So Amazon already has a few private label fashion brands that it launched earlier in 2016. But what's interesting about this is that it's one of Amazon's first private label apparel brands to launch exclusively to Prime members. You've heard me talk before about the ingenuity of the Prime program in getting members to buy more items from Amazon more consistently, more often. Prime members spend more than double what non-Prime members do each year. And now more than half of US households are members of Amazon Prime. Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, has previously said that he wants people to feel irresponsible if they don't have a Prime membership. So what does this mean? Prime exclusive clothing lines might mean that another one of Prime's main selling points beyond free two-day delivery, free returns, video and music content, and a lot of other perks they've been introducing recently, Another perk that they could offer is an assortment of exclusive products that non-members aren't able to purchase. Also on an, on an unrelated note, but still interesting, I checked out the product reviews for these shirts so far. They are almost all Vine customer reviews where um, Vine members receive free product meaning that even Amazon is finding it hard to get genuine product reviews of its own products and needs to rely on the premium Vine service. Amazon Go Launch. Everyone would have heard about this new shopping concept by now. It's been all over the news. It was certainly all over Facebook. And more recently, we heard that Amazon has registered Amazon Go as a trademark in the UK. So we could potentially see the concept launched in new markets outside of the US. And so in reading through all the commentary about Amazon Go recently, what's funny is that Costco came out to say that, well, we had the same idea to do this 20 years ago. And as pretty much everyone in this group or watching this video is an entrepreneur, We all know that ideas mean nothing. It's all in the execution. I'm sure that everyone has thought while they're standing in line at the grocery store, there should be a way to do this without cashiers. But Amazon was the the first and only retailer to see past all of the barriers and all of the issues with this idea, um, all of the issues that other retailers saw and actually bring the concept to life. And my expectation is now Amazon will be able to on-sell this technology to other retailers, just like Amazon on-sells excess cloud computing space through AWS and excess fulfillment capacity using FBA. The other interesting concept is how Amazon, previously very much an online-only company, is now attacking physical retail in earnest. First, we saw the retail pop-ups in dozens of malls around the US. Then we saw the impending launch of Project X, the click and collect grocery concept store in Seattle, which is different to Amazon Go. 
and now Amazon Go as well. So there is more than just a fleeting recognition by Amazon that one in eight retail purchases happen offline. But as we've seen with Amazon Go, they won't look to just replicate what already works in brick and mortar retail. They'll be innovating hugely to make the buying experience more personal and profitable. Well, that's it for this week's Amazon News Roundup. I'll catch you next week.